My journey as an undergraduate student in Native Store has been one that I will never forget. I have met so many intelligent, like-minded people that have helped me open my eyes, not only as a student, but as an indigenous woman. Coming to a predominantly Eurocentric university made it hard to find people who were like me, but when I found Native Store, it felt like my second home. The friendships I have made along the way felt more like a family. The support that's provided and the amount of love that is in this classroom has shown me how important it is for Indigenous students to have a community to succeed in their higher education. In Home Away From Home, Native American students' sense of belonging during their first year in college, Dr. Amanda R. Tachin talks about the importance of mattering and feeling cared about and how that determines whether or not an Indigenous student will persist in higher education. Not only are Native students dealing with academic difficulties like poor ACT scores, low college GPAs, lack of financial aid, and low motivation, but also external factors like microaggressions, racism, and stereotypes that have a heavy impact on students. Having a community or even being close to home or a family is one of the factors that improve a Native student's education. My family has helped me a lot, maybe not academically, but emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. They have always been there to console and make sure what I am doing is best for me. Having that connection to home is a reminder of who I am and where I come from and also where I'm going to go. My family gives me strength to keep going and not to give up, much like Native Soar does. Native students who attended colleges that supported their cultural identity not only increased efforts in their coursework, but also experienced a greater engagement of ideas with non-Native peers and faculty. Overall, Native students on NNCU provide an environment where students can claim higher education as an Indigenous space. Throughout my whole life, I have always wanted to help my community in some way and be a resource for those who did not have any. Mentoring is something that I have really fallen in love with. The work that I have done here in Native Soar has helped me gain a better understanding of how much our Native youth deserve higher education. An Indigenous Knowledge Realized college-going American Indian, Christine Nelson and Natalie Youngbull highlight the importance of having a mentor. They talk about the impact they have on younger Native students by focusing on main points of having a sense of power, a sense of community, and a sense of relationship. Mentoring my own Native community has given me a sense of purpose. I feel fulfilled knowing that I can help the next generation and empower them to be successful in their lifetime with the guidance we offer. We show them the power they hold just by pursuing higher education, and that if another Indigenous person can do it, they can do it too. Our students recognize their ability to have a positive impact on the younger generation, which in turn empowered them to understand that the meaning of being successful in higher education goes beyond their own sense of accomplishment. When I mentor, it is not just about me and what I bring to the table. It's the audience. It's the community that brings the story together. I see this when we sit and talk during our sharing circles, and I hear my mentees' voices speak. Storytelling holds a significance when I am in these indigenous spaces, when I am with my mentees, or in a classroom. The way we grew up, surrounded by storytelling with our elders, teaching us lessons, or with experiences that our families have had. Storytelling is built within not only indigenous peoples, but indigenous educators. Native Soar helped me realize that I have always been around educators. I have always been around people that enlighten through their words of wisdom and love. In doing story work, lessons learned from adopting a storytelling approach to research in a federal colonial state. Dr. Mark Holy goes into depth about how storytelling creates a connection between the storyteller and the audience. Julie Cruikshank, powerful enough form to turn secondhand experience. Julie Cruikshank argues that storytelling from the mouth of a gifted teller to the ears of a good listener is a powerful enough form to turn secondhand experiences into firsthand events. Leslie Marmon Silko testifies to this power in saying, We sometimes say the moment is alive again within us. In that sense, storytelling doesn't only recall the past, it reanimates it. Storytelling provides listeners with the ability to re-experience and indulge in what's being said. And as an indigenous woman, this is important. Storytelling helps me with honoring my culture, my ancestors, and the land, giving me an understanding and being able to give guidance in a different, more intimate way. Native Soar has been such a big part of my freshman year here at the university. I have learned so much being in the classroom in my mentoring sessions. Mentoring showed me that perfection is not always a way to teach a good involved class. It is not about whether you think your slideshow is well put together. It's the participation that makes it the very best, and my mentees have shown me that numerous times. Being able to have persistence and continuous engagement with the students, but also the planning that goes with that. 
has taught me a lot with moving forward. Things are not always easy, and especially being a college student and having other responsibilities. Another lesson I have learned is that things will get hard. I have wanted to give up many a times, but I chose not to because I knew in the end that it would all be worth it. Every step I take, my ancestors are with me, watching me achieve what they know I'm capable of for them. Every decision I make with my family in mind, with their spirit with me everywhere I go and everything I do. I thank Native Soar for helping me on my journey of finding more about myself. I am grateful for the instructors who welcome me with open arms and my mentees for allowing me to guide them. Thank you, Native Soar.